you see the amazing Tifa and you, you think like, wow, I'm just excited to go out and play for a lot of people. I was waiting for my first goal and uh, it came in a, in a very, very crucial moment. Here we are at Kamrad Gården with Abnon Mucholi. You came here in uh, 2023 summer. You got promoted with uh, Vela. You just finished the season and then uh, then you joined the side which was in the middle of the season with a huge supporter base and really rich history, but uh, fighting relegation. So what was the initial thoughts of yours about this project when you came to Blue Bit? There was a lot of talk with the coach. He was Danish and he knew me He knew me before from Danish football. So I talked with him be before I made my decision and uh, he made it clear what kind of plan he, he had for me here and uh, it sounded very exciting and the team was fighting relegation but you saw your spot in the project then yeah, when coming yeah. here yeah i mean it was a it was a good plan and of course he he sold it good to me and uh, i knew what i was going into the team was was not doing well but i hoped that i could come and, and help the team of course and what we spoke about that we should survive this that season i came and then after that it would become better and we would start developing and hopefully this season will be will be a better year and yeah then uh, then i decided to come you played 18 Svenskan games so far what do you think about the league in general you played on both hybrid artificial pitches as well as natural surface is that something that would bother you or not really i think football should be played on grass on normal grass to be honest but uh but yeah, it is what it is, and sometimes the the weather conditions here in Scandinavia, if it's very very cold, it can be a very bad grass pitch, and then maybe it's better to to play on artificial, maybe more safe to play on an artificial grass pitch. But now there's coming hybrid pitches also, and they are good all year round. And I feel like every team should uh, have a hybrid pitch now. How the development has been in in football, so I think that should be the the minimum for clubs in. Uh, in the best leagues in Europe. Let's talk about your uh, first goal for Blåvit i FK Göteborg. That was against Jurgården last August. Describe the feeling of scoring in front of Kommando Bryggan and then <clears throat> after that we maybe talk about what happened after that with uh, Sebastian Eriksson. But <laughs> but uh, the feeling itself of scoring in front of uh, Kommando Bryggan. Nah, it was uh, it was special. It was very special. I was I was waiting for my first goal and uh, it came in a in a very very crucial moment and I. I feel like that was a turning point for the whole squad and the and the club. Like we, we were working so hard and we we got the goal and uh, we turned the game around from losing one zero. Makan scored the second goal and we won two one. Yeah, that was just the beginning of uh, a good run, and we uh, yeah I think we deserved it and uh, yeah, it was a special feeling for me for my myself personally. It was yeah, it was it's hard to describe it, but when you score, you just feel this like excitement in your in your body and uh, yeah it was amazing feeling because you pointed to the to the crowd straight away that was your like your first thought and then you got pushed by uh yeah, by Sabon. So, i didn't think so much but then yeah i was running and uh pointing up and then i was about to jump i feel like and then i got pushed and uh, i got a cramp in my uh, i think right or left foot and uh, were you mad at him or or uh, it was just I like was just they're emotion, happy and... just emotions you know and uh yeah, i started laughing i got a cramp i was just uh struggling with the cramp and I think yeah they helped me with the cramp yeah but then you could carry on playing so. funny moment and yeah. Uh, yeah something I will not forget let's talk a bit about this weekend's uh, premiere which was uh, obviously not the, the best result of uh, Blovid because it was heavily influenced by the red card rather talk about the, the supporter perspective does the support affect you as a player before and during the game if you see a TFO such a detailed one which in the weekend do you, do you think about that or you're totally focused at the at the game and just sense some part but but rather not not the whole thing of the support i mean you you always feel like there's uh, some games are more i don't know if it means more in some games but there's a uh, more focus in some games and you know it's going to be filled up and you know there's going to be a lot of people probably there's going to be a tifo and these things so like I, I don't think too much about it, but I'm just excited to go out and play for a lot of people and uh, yeah, do my best. And then you come out and the song comes on and uh, and you see the you see the amazing Tifa and you you think like wow, you just want to do good. You're just excited to play and then uh, yeah, give give your all for for your teammates and for the people who who come watching. How do you see this upcoming season? What will get better compared to last year? Uh, I think we've 
worked a lot. We have worked hard in the preseason, and I think we we're developing as a, as a team. And uh, I think it will show. Now we had a a bad start, but yeah, it was not what we hoped for. But that's how it is. Sometimes it doesn't begin well, but I'm sure we're gonna bounce back uh, in the next game. I well, certainly hope for that. I'm gonna wish you uh, best of luck with that. Let's see some more more moments and more performances like the the one against Malmo away. Thank you very much. Great talking to you. Thank you.